Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Jamika and I'm back with another video. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel down below. It's free, so why not? Support your girl. Let's grow this channel. As well, if you like and enjoy this video and want me to do more content like it, give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you like the video, go ahead and share it on all your social media platforms. And also, make sure that you hit that notification bell button down below and make sure that you select the all options so you don't miss a single video that I upload okay now let's get right into the video okay you guys so in this video we're gonna be talking about Khloe Kardashian and how she's actually considering to create another child with her ex fiance slash father of her current daughter mr. Tristan Thompson who also cheated and publicly embarrassed Khloe all throughout her pregnancy as well as allegedly attempted to also cheat on her with Chloe's sister Kylie Jenner's then best friend Jordan Woods but even considering all of that Chloe being currently single and in her mid 30s at the age of 35 years old is still considering to create another child with Tristan Thompson and he is actually on board with the idea which is not really too surprising if you watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians because for months now he's been publicly trying to get back into a relationship with her even though she has been publicly refusing to get back together with him. Tristan and I are in a good place. Do I wish he acted this way when we were together? A hundred percent. The whole episode kicks off when Tristan sends Chloe that big ass Dior box. Coco is obviously super grateful, but makes it clear Tristan is living in the friend zone. I also just want to be really smart and not have any of these lines blurred. It's just very confusing. You gotta stop buying me things. It's weird. Now lately, Chloe has been trying to decide whether she wants to freeze her eggs or freeze her embryos because there is a difference between the two. Now let me quickly break down the difference. Freezing your eggs means that you're just freezing the egg itself, okay? You are not fertilizing the egg with sperm to create an embryo. However, if you're going to freeze an embryo, it has to already be fertilized with chosen sperm and then you freeze it. That is the difference between freezing just your eggs versus your embryos. Now the whole reason behind freezing your eggs or embryos is basically so while you're at an age where your body is producing healthy eggs, you can freeze and maintain the health of that good egg. So therefore, when you are ready to conceive, then you can use that egg that you have frozen. But simply put, doctors say that when comparing freezing eggs versus freezing embryos, they say that egg freezing offers more options and simpler choices for many women because embryo freezing, which requires sperm to fertilize the egg before freezing, just isn't all that useful for single women or women who aren't sure that their current partner is their co-parent that they're really looking for and want. So basically, y'all, say you and your baby daddy ain't together like Chloe and Tristan, and she decides to use his sperm to fertilize her egg and create an embryo and freeze it. So when she is ready to conceive, that but egg say, that she on the other uses, hand down the line, it will always she's no be longer there. She gets married to someone together. great who treats her wonderfully. But however, the only healthy eggs that she has, she's already created embryos out of them with Tristan's sperm. So she has no choice but to use that. That sucks. And I know that at this point, some of you are thinking, well, why is she even considering Tristan Thompson, you know, her ex who cheated on her to be, you know, a sperm donor for her egg and create an embryo out of that? Well, sources that are close to Chloe say that the reason why she's considered it is because her logic is she wants her children to have the same set of parents. What do y'all think of that logic? Let me know down below in the comments. Me personally, in my personal opinion, I think that she should only go through with the egg freezing, not the embryo freezing where she needs to use um, his sperm to do that. I think like, you know, at least regardless of if she's still single in the future or taken, she will still have good eggs frozen that she can ultimately use to conceive without having to worry about, you know, the attachment of Tristan Thompson. But what do y'all think? Let me know your, your personal feelings about this because I know Chloe and celebrities are not the only one that deal with this stuff. Like I said earlier in the video, Tristan Thompson is very on board with this because for the past couple of months, he's been publicly trying to get back with her. Tristan reacting like this. I'm open to doing that and down to doing that. And, you know, 
the end of the day, I want you to feel whatever's going to make you feel comfortable and also feel, you know, safest and everything like that. That's what I'm on board with. Okay. Okay, now do I think that Tristan Thompson is in love with her and that's the reason why he's trying to get back with her? No, because let's be clear. I feel like if you really are in love with somebody and you respect and value them, you would never cheat on them repeatedly with different people, especially when they're carrying your seed. You just don't do it. I honestly feel like he wants her back because, you know, of the status. Like they were this, this power couple you know when he was with her and he was always in the headlines and you know in the in the news and in the paparazzi and in the papers and all over the uh, internet and social media when he was with her because let's be clear when he's not with her don't nobody really talk about Tristan Thompson ain't nobody checking for you on the court you're not the main subject or headline when it comes to the sport that you're playing let's just be honest we didn't even know who you were before you were um you know dating chloe not to say that you have to be the biggest chloe kardashian or just kardashian fan at all but these are the facts but anyways y'all let me know your personal thoughts and opinions about this whole subject and topic down below in the comments i really like to know because i know that it's not just celebrities that are dealing with you know this this issue of possibly being a single woman and you know you're maybe at um a, a crossroads in your life you know in your mid to late 30s or early 40s and you really want to conceive children however you're single what would you do have you guys or would you guys ever consider possibly um taking the sperm of your ex who you may have children with already um and created and creating an embryo to freeze so when you are ready to conceive that your children can share the same parents or would you just go through with the regular freezing of your eggs so that in the future you can use those healthy eggs that you had that were frozen without having to worry about the ties between you and your ex but the only the only thing is if you do that then you would have to risk possibly having to use a complete stranger's sperm if you are not, you know, taken or in a committed relationship or married by the time you're ready to conceive. So you might have to use a, a, a stranger's sperm or if you have a good close friend, maybe theirs. What would y'all do? Let me know y'all's thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. Please make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you actually liked it and enjoyed it and want me to do other celebrity gossip videos like this, as well as share this video if you truly liked it. Share it all on your social media platforms and go ahead and subscribe to this channel because why not? It's free. Let's grow this channel, y'all. And make sure that y'all beautiful, beautiful people hit that notification bell button down below and select the all options so you don't miss a single video that I upload because all this year, and going forward i'm going to stay consistent giving y'all the content that y'all want okay so until next time thank you for your love and support make sure that you take care of yourself and each other peace